Luxembourg's old district is perched high on a clifftop. The city dates back over 1,000 years and today is an important administrative and financial center. Joe Cox finds the mix of tradition and modern one of its most interesting aspects. The most fascinating thing about the city is that it still has a center. The old quarter is built on a rock. It is home to the administrative buildings and the Grand Ducal Palace. But it is surrounded by apartments, and outside a new Luxembourg is being constructed. For Joe Cox, life revolves mainly around the historic center. Most of the city's tourist attractions are here, like the Bach casemates. The tunnels stretch for more than 20 kilometers and are listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. They help defend the city against invaders for centuries, but Luxembourg doesn't only live in the past. Over the last 20 years, it's as if the city has woken from a long slumber. We have to make sure we maintain the international character of the city, because that's what makes it so interesting to live and work here. Away from the old quarters, a new Luxembourg is springing up on the Kirchberg Plateau. Banks, corporate buildings and European institutions, like the European Court of Justice, are based here. And the city has invested in new cultural centers, like the concert hall. All the big names are here. There's a diverse range of construction materials, glass and stone. There are bright parts, dark parts, black and gold. In an afternoon, you can experience the height of contemporary architecture. The Museum for Modern Art, which stands in the remains of an old fortress, was designed by the Chinese-American architect Liu Mingpei. This later work from Pei is one of the most beautiful buildings he's ever built. It's not as large as many of the others he's designed, but the proportions of the rooms are wonderful. The museum hosts different exhibitions from prominent contemporary artists. At just 500 pieces, the permanent collection is modest, but it's very international and spans a broad spectrum of styles. The cosmopolitan character of Luxembourg is definitely an advantage. We can't afford to put boundaries on our ideas, because when you travel 20 kilometers in any direction, you're pretty much in another country. This tranquil corner of the old city is one of Joe Cox's favorite places. The Neumünster Abbey is in Luxembourg's Grund district, which lies on the banks of the Alzette River. When you stand up there, you see it's too far to walk. And when you're down here, you think that's a long way up. But it's only two or three minutes to the lift. It's fantastic to have such a place in the middle of a hectic city. Seclusion and openness, ancient and modern, Luxembourg is a city of contrasts.